What's going on, guys? It's pop. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to be putting a point into endurance soon. you are. By what right do you enter the home of our queen? I'm the emissary of the Congregation of Merchants. I've come to meet your leader. Come now, Arwant. You are not a watchdog. Where is my mother? Siora, I didn't see you. You have come too late. Your mother has gone to wage a war. They left for Didekidn Nadageis only a few hours ago. Oh no. We need to catch up with them and avoid the shedding of blood. Please, haste. Very well then, let's be off. In order to go toward the Begid Nadagis, we must follow the path leading toward the heights into the forest. Okay.
Wait. You should go left here. It's a more difficult path, but it's much shorter. Look at the tracks. They chose to take the path on the right, it would seem. Before a battle, it makes sense that they wanted to avoid a path with more danger. If it is dangerous, let's not risk braving it when time is against us. We risk meeting a great many beasts. But if we follow the warriors, we risk catching up with them too late to sway them. Alright, and... Thanks for listening to me. I fear my mother may have already thrown herself into the battle. Okay. You are too late, Siora. Mother has fallen, and we are defeated. No, no, no. This is not fair. I am so sorry. Who is this man? He resembles one of us, but is dressed like a Renaigze. I am the ambassador of the Congregation of Merchants. I, I'm sorry for your loss. The Congregation? And what side are you on in this war? Those that massacre our people. I said, calm down. You know that mother sent me to seek out allies. You show up when the fight was nearly over. Was this part of your plan? You know that these monsters are taking our own. They must make honorable amends. 
This one. We did our best to come as fast as we could. And I fought by your side. Please, please take the time to at least hear me out. There has already been enough death and you are wounded. This is not the time for vengeance. You may be right. Waiting for my vengeance will make it taste all the sweeter. I feel weak. Might I ask you to watch over our own Siora? I must return to the village. Go on ahead. We will tend to the wounded. Won't we now? Yes. We will do everything we can. And find my mother. Or her body, if... If she is indeed dead. Look at this massacre. How? Find her banner. It bears the symbol of our clan. By what name did you call this place again? There was once a battle in the past. A great victory for our clans. Hmm, strange indeed. These walls are completely foreign to the start ah. of your own dwellings. Does this name that you gave the ruins mean anything in particular? Yes, it means ruins of the first guardian. I would like to dig around a little on the site. You might be able to unearth clues as to who actually built them. You now have enough strength to return to the village. Find Arwand. He will take care of you. Over there, I think that man is still breathing. Let's make sure. You can walk now. Return to the village. We must make sure that there are no more survivors. Mm. Over there, I think that man is still breathing. Let's make sure. You now have enough strength to return to the village. Find Arwand. He will take care of you. Should be someone over, over there, here. Yeah. I think that man is still breathing. Let's make sure. You now have enough strength to return to the village. Find Arwand. He will take care of you. The last person should be around here somewhere. So I'm going to walk around just to make sure. some help they took her the queen <laughs> we must fight 
find her. I will not leave her to their whims. If your mother is in the hands of Bridge, they'd have taken her to the closest camp. Promise me that we will do everything we can to bring her back. How much weight am I carrying? Oh! Where the fuck? I'm trying to remember where this last person is. Over here, maybe? Ah, there you are. Another warrior who survived. I do not think that we will find any more of them now. We healed them all, thanks to you. May the grass always be soft beneath your feet.
Ooh. I need ammo. Let's get closer. I need a bit of practice. What do I need for that? Vigor. Hmm. Alright, so yeah, I'll start working on my vigor. Drawing so closely. You've never come here. You certainly seem to know the place. This site is sacred and taboo. Everyone knows where it is, but no one ever comes here. All these colors are so beautiful. I never would have imagined that they could create something so delicate. Well, who are you talking about? Of those who built these lodgings. That my ancestors vanquished in a past war. You know who they were? I only know the legend. The legend of Dida Kid and Nadaige. I'm listening. It is said our people lived peacefully until the men appeared from the sea, intent on making our lands their own. They dug great caverns into the earth, ripped down our forests, destroying everything in their wake. 
They were evil. The warriors killed so many people that even their own people came to fear them. Here, they built a terrible city that spewed out clouds of cinder and death. Our kings and queens were desperate. They went to the heart of our island, and the island heard them. From the woods appeared the first guardian. He was taller than a city, and with each step it smashed a lodging. It was a guardian of Rat, and the city could not resist him. Since then, the Earth answers our call for magic, and in exchange, we become all Manawi, in keeping with the pacts our kings and queens once made. It is a very sad and terrible legend. I wonder who these people from the sea could have been. Uh, people from the continent, no doubt. Our Malachor might well be the cursed result of that war from another age. We have nothing more, nor anyone else to find here. I must report all we've learned to Constantine. Nine. Okay, I gotta level up. For how many times? Yeah, three more times for that. One more for this, and then I'll put a point into here. No, wait. One point in here, and then I'll focus on that, and then this.
Level 10, alright. To talk to her, don't I? No. My opinion. Precise. I don't have any. I must leave you. I meant to talk to you. On all Manawi, my mother is still held in this outpost near the Gigado. I must do everything I can to free her from the lion's claws. So, will you accompany me? Let's do this one we first, and then we'll we do Kurtz. Do not worry. Let's go. Sade, I am the legate of the merchant congregation. Oh, well, you can come in, Your Excellency. But this savage, on the other hand... Am I the one you call a savage, Renaigse? This young lady is the princess of her people and she is with me. As such, I would appreciate if you let us through. Very well, Your Excellency. Please go and find the captain. I'd feel better knowing that he gave you his endorsement. Well, who are you? De Sade, legate of the merchant congregation. Ask what happened to the queen. Allow me to introduce Siora, the daughter of Queen Bladnid, whom you faced on the battlefield. We understand that you brought her mother here, and I would like to negotiate her liberation. A liberation? That'll prove difficult. She's dead. No! You! You let her die! You may even have finished her off like an agonizing animal! We didn't need to. When we collected her up from the battlefield, she was severely wounded. She died on the way to the camp. I want to see her body, Honol Manawi. Please. I must see her. Can we see her, Captain? If you're the one who's asking, Your Excellency, it should be possible. You're in luck. We were thinking about getting rid of it, but we received the order to keep her body. It's still at the infirmary. Ask the doctor. He'll show it to you. Thank you, Captain. Siora, I'm terribly sorry. Let's go see her now. I need to. I'm sorry, pretty flower. I really am. The infirmary must be the building on the right, near the camp entrance. Let's go. Who are you? Are you looking for a doctor? I am the legate of the congregation, and this is Siora. The daughter of the queen whose remains you're keeping. I would like to see her. I need to see her. Please. My condolences, madam. The body of your mother is back there in the room on the left. Not... No. I should give you some privacy while you're mourning. We won't be far. And if our dear too, my dear. Men sit a den on me, Frichtemann. I must take her with me on Almanawi. We must perform the rituals. The captain said that he was instructed to keep her body. It will not be easy to convince him to disobey. I do not care about the captain's orders. She is my mother. She must be given back to the Earth. So, let's go back to see him and try to make him change his mind. You can try, but with all due respect, I doubt that you will succeed. He will not want to draw attention to himself by disobeying this order. What do you mean? I believe he is a traitor, and that he made a deal with Telemi. 
Those are some serious accusations, even for a member of the Guard. Why would you believe such a thing? I overheard a conversation that got me thinking, and I also saw certain documents. We could use them to pressure him. Did you take them? No, that would be too risky. I do not want to get into trouble. But I suppose they would still be amongst his other belongings. Will they let us rummage through this place without protesting? Most of the guards returned to Hikmet after the battle was over. If you are discreet, you should be able to enter the officer's building. Thank you for your help, Doctor. Shouldn't you ask the captain first? Maybe he'll change his mind? You're right. Let's try talking to him before rummaging through the camp. Yeah, I'll talk to him. Your Excellency, what do you want? Claim the Queen's body. We would like to retrieve the remains of the Queen. Bring her back to her people and her family. That will not be possible, Your Excellency. As I told you, the Governor specifically asked us to keep her. He wants her delivered to one of his scholars who wanted to study her. You have lost a lot of men in this battle. How would you feel if someone prevented you from giving them a proper burial? If you knew that their corpses were going to be given to some scholars to be dissected, wouldn't you want to have them back? The way I feel when it comes to my Fucking men, I cannot give shit. up. Captain, I, I, this isn't the right way. This man is as cold as stone. I'm afraid we have no choice but to pressure him now, like the doctor told us. We will have to be discreet if we want to find these documents without getting caught. The doctor was right. They are trafficking weapons illegally with San Mateus. If word reaches Hickman, these men will face a firing squad. But none of these documents are signed. The captain managed to cover his tracks. This large box must contain the documents you are searching for. I hope the officer doesn't keep the key. I don't see how we could steal it from him. He may have left it somewhere. Come, let's continue searching. So the key's not in here. I'll check the... Actually. My figure need to be up for that. Oh, intuition. See. All right, so Where the fuck is this key? Find the chess key. Where the fuck is the chess key then? Okay. 
Okay. Here's a document that could be useful. They're meeting with the buyers. Then we should go there. He won't be able to deny it if we catch him red-handed. There's a risk that he will react violently, but we have no other choice. Let's go then. I know this place. It is further down the road, near a large tree. Here we are. This is the tree that was mentioned. Let's hide while we wait for them to arrive. Well, Captain, you have some peculiar friends for a man who obeys the Alliance. You? What are you doing here? We stumbled upon some strange documents and wanted to see for ourselves if there was any truth to them. Sorry, my friends. If you want our shipment, then we need to get rid of this nosy legate. Captain, you are making a grave mistake. All we want is to negotiate. On the point, you've got to protect my mother. Close to his very Ah, that's it. Guns open! thought that you would dare to attack allies of the congregation. <laughs> it seems to me that you were the one who attacked. How did you put it? This nosy legate. Had you simply listened to us, Captain, this fight would not have taken place. All we wanted was for you to respectfully deliver the body of the Queen to her village. And will you stay silent about what you saw? We're neutral. Trading amongst yourselves does not concern us. In that case, very well. I'll return to the outpost and ensure it's done. Now I would like for us to return to my village. I am eager to reunite with my sister. In that case, let's return to Vedrais. Let's go. Some men delivered her remains here. They said that it was thanks to you. And the Renaixe legate. Thank you. We will be able to pay homage to our mother. Why are there mind shakers here, Aselt? I meant to tell you about it. They came saying that our mother had made an agreement with Teleme. But Mater did not tell me about it. She didn't say anything to me, either. I do not like this, Iseld. These people want to drive us away from the land. I know. But we need help after the defeat. And they say that she made a promise set in stone. The spirits of the people of our village would have to go to the light, and in exchange they'd help us against the lions. This is impossible. 
Mater would never have done such a thing. They are lying, I'm certain of it. They may be. But if there really is a promise set in stone, we cannot break it. And we will have to bury our mother according to their rituals. We must verify it. I will not stand there while these mind shakers take our village. Meet with Thalum Governor. Dude, fucking talk. Green blood. Tell me, do you remember that young brute <coughs> I spoke to you about? I would still like to present him to you. So then, would you like to accompany me to meet him? Alright. But of course, let's go. Stop it! You must be with the other recruits in the barracks. I had thought you were lone wolf with only our good friend in your pack. But I was mistaken. I am full of surprises, pretty she-wolf. Did not mean to do that. I need to go here. Hello, Your Excellency. I need, yeah, I need vigor for shit like this. Have something crafted. Do, 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 do. 
I'll, I'll work on that later. Yes. The best forge in Tim. So that one does 126. Grab. Good day, soldiers. Your Excellency. Captain. Soldiers, may we be of service? Now on. I'm looking for the soldier, Rayner. Is he in the barracks? I never heard that name before, Captain. Never heard the name, Captain. That's strange. I'm certain he was sent here. Maybe he's been moved since then. When was the last time you'd heard news of him? In Serene, just before our departure. But that's been a couple of months. If I may, Captain, should I have a word with the Quartermaster? That's right, Captain. He has a register with the affectations of every recruit in the Blue Silver Regiment. Anything else, Excellency? That will be all. Huh? Hello, Your Excellency. What can I do for you? Ask him about the recruit, right? I've been looking for one of my recruits. Goes by the name of Rayner. I would like for His Excellency to meet him. Rayner? I'm sorry, Kurt. I thought you'd been informed. Informed about what? He is dead. He was found. Drowned in the port harbor day before yesterday. I was told he had too much to drink and fell in. I'm extremely sorry, Kurt. The young men drink more than they can handle when they're on leave. That's bollocks. That lad isn't the sort to sully himself with drink. I don't believe it. People change. When they're far from home, the lads have little else to do. I still don't believe it. Listen, you might as well go and ask the doctor down in the morgue. I might have misunderstood what was reported to me. Those doctors use such long words for simple things. Excellent idea. At least now you'll see it for yourself. You're right. Let's go. Is there anything else? No, thank you. Move.
อา้าวจะไปตรงไหนเหรอเนี่ยตรงนี้เหรอไปไหนเหรอไปไหนเหรอไปไหนเหรอไปไหนเหรอไปไหนเหรอไป Can you tell me anything about the circumstances? All I know is what I was told by the fellows who brought the body to me. They said they'd spent the evening together at the tavern, that they'd had a great deal to drink—a horrid habit the soldiers all seem to share. r a y n e r was not a drinker. Maybe not. All the same, he was drinking that night. He stepped outside for a moment and never came back in. His companions found him drowned in the bay early morn. And they brought him to me. How then did he die, in your opinion? He drowned. I'm sorry. It's regrettable. He was quite a young man. Yeah, and his death makes no sense. He didn't drink, and he knew how to swim. All the same, that's what happened. I greatly regret it. Might we take a look at the body? Um, no, I wouldn't recommend that. To see your friend in such a state. I'm a soldier, Doc. I've seen a number of men in pieces. Let me see the young lad. I, I regret, Captain. I cannot allow that. Insist. I have, as of yet, to present myself. I'm Sir d e s a r d e Legate of the Congregation of Merchants on t i e r f r e d i And as the title infers, I have the power to inspect this barracks and all that it contains. Therefore, I must insist. I see. A thousand pardons, Excellency. I should have recognized you and shown more respect. It's the body in the middle. Examine him if you must. But please be so kind as to not leave a mess after you. Is just a boy. His face is still locked in an expression of pain. Kurt, is this your recruit? Yes, that's my r a i n e r Poor kid. I should have left him with his family where he was. If you want to learn more, we'll need to examine the body. Is that all right? He's not the first young man I've seen with the lights gone from his eyes. Go on. I'm no doctor. But this boy doesn't seem to have drowned at all. It looks like he's been beaten. Oh, it's suspicious. The boy I knew would never have drunk himself senseless to the point he'd fall into the bay. I'm telling you. I believe you, Kurt. But if we want to prove it, we'll need to find more evidence. Excuse me, Doctor, but you owe us a few explanations. This boy did not die by drowning. It is absolutely the cause of death. I assure you, the science of death is a complex art, and you are certainly not a doctor. Show him his notes. That is true, but you are. Do you recognize your own notes? Your writing is hard to read, but the word drowning never appears. What an idiot! I should have burned those notes. I am truly sorry. I, I swear, I have never ever falsified a report before. But I was given no choice in the matter. How's that? What are you talking about? <laughs> Two men, uh, uh, lieutenants, I believe, brought a body to me, telling me the boy had drowned in an accident. I saw immediately this was a lie, but I did not push the matter. I began my examination, planning to submit my report to the quartermaster as per usual. But the men returned. I was told to forget what I discovered and say that he had indeed drowned, or else. Who were they? I have no idea. 
I had never seen them before at the barracks. I, I guess they're ranked by their uniforms. What colors were they sporting? None. They must have removed the emblems of their regiment. Listen, it's obvious that this boy was beaten repetitively, and that was the cause of death. I have no intention of suffering the same fate. Have no fear, Doctor. We will make no mention of your name. Andivor's Tire. That means, may the earth welcome him. I am sorry for you, Kurt. Thank you, Siora. Hello, Your Excellency. What can I do for you? Discuss Rainer's death. We have a situation, Manfred. Rainer didn't drown. The doctor falsified his report. He was threatened and feared for his own life. You have to be pulling me leg. Who bullied the crow face? Lieutenants that he didn't recognize, alas. And he wore no regiment emblems. Which regiment was Rainer assigned to? I would like to have a word with his commanding officer. Let me have a look at the register. My memory isn't what it once was. Stab my heart with a rusty blade. His name's been crossed out. Oh, if I catch the bastard that did that. What mess was the boy into, Manfred? What could this be about? Your lad was in the 6th or maybe the 11th. Before being reassigned to who knows where. Just like that. You out of everyone have to know where the recruits are assigned. Not of late. This isn't the first lad who's been reassigned all of a sudden at the drop of a hat. Each time I start complaining about it, I'm told they've changed regiments. And it's not my concern. Something truly bizarre is going on here. I don't like this at all. Let's try and discover which company he was stationed at before this mysterious reassignment. Is there anything else? No, thank you. I need to get to the bottom of this mystery, Greenblood. I don't like being taken for a fool. Even if the lieutenants weren't stationed at these barracks, someone here must know where Rayner was assigned. We should also go and check the tavern. Men on leave will perhaps have looser lips than... Your Excellency, it is an honor. You. Excellency. I saw you in the palace, if I'm not mistaken. Your Excellency has a good eye and memory. I am one of the officers, in charge of the protection of your cousin's counselors. How can I help you? Hmm. We are investigating the death of a young recruit, a certain Rainer. I've never heard the name before. He's not one of my men. I know, but you might at least have heard someone mention him in passing. Did he die at the palace? No, we have no idea where it happened, only where the body was found. So? I'm, I'm sorry. That doesn't ring any bells. None at all. Someone might have talked about the matter. His body was found in the waters of the port. It had been reported that he'd drowned. But in truth, he was beaten to death. Murdered. We want to know what happened. I hear you. The murder of one of our own should not go unpunished. But alas, I don't know how I can help you. This is the first I've heard about it. Mm. Good day, Lieutenant. My lord, you are one of the governor's confidants, are you not? Indeed. Desarde. The governor's legate. My sincere pardon, Excellency. I didn't want to show any disrespect. Captain? Lieutenant? How can I help you? We seek information concerning a young recruit, a certain Rayner. Rayner? Sorry, name isn't familiar to me. He must be with another company. Are you absolutely sure? The young man is dead. His body was found in the bay two days ago. We were told that he had drowned, but we know for a fact he was a victim of an assassination. I did hear talk of a young lad found in the port waters. That's my sector. But I was told that it was an accident, and I had no reason to doubt it. Are you sure the lad was murdered? Absolutely certain. Beaten to death, to be precise. Well, that's horrible. But I don't know anything about it. Too bad. Thank you, all the same. Goodbye, Lieutenant.
How can I help you? We seek him for... I did. But I was told that... Are you sure the lad... Absolutely so. That's horrible. Too bad. Ah. Good day, soldier. Uh, good day, my lord. De Sarde, legate of the congregation on Tier D. Captain Kurt. Oh, I... Excuse me, Excellency. I... I didn't know. Captain, I... I truly am sorry. At your service, my lord. Excellency. Since you know who we are, present yourself, soldier. Ah, yes, sir. Recruit 2nd Class Alric, Blue Silver Regiment, 11th Company. At your service. Anything else? You don't quite look like you've got the hang of all this. How long have you been in? I... Is it that obvious? It's quite normal for a new recruit. I joined up four months ago, but at the beginning we were on board ship, you see. I don't know if that really counts. I started exercises when we got to New Serene, but I'm making progress, they say. And do you like it here? I sure do. That's why I joined the Guard, to come here, to leave the continent. Know what I mean? I do. Anything else? That will be all, soldier. Uh, At your service. Actually, uh, yeah. Do you know a recruit going by the name of Raina? Raina? I... It's just... Excellency, please. The boy is terrified now that he knows who we are. So long as he's in that state, he'll say nothing of worth. You should bring him a bottle to calm his nerves. That will be all, soldier. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Your Excellency. Hmm. No, put that away. What can I pour for you? Ask about him. I'm looking for information concerning a young recruit going by the name of Rainer. Sorry, there's nothing but soldiers here, with a few sailors. Well, one recruit or another, it's half a dozen of one, six of the other to me. You should just try talking to them yourself. You got yourself quite a selection. What can I pour for you? Give me a bottle of this. Your service, my lord. Excellency. Here. You seem tired and a little on edge. A drink would do you some good. It's just that... I don't know if I'm allowed. You're on leave, or you wouldn't be at the tavern. Then why not? Yes, but this is His Excellency's own bottle. I don't know if I can. Drink, I tell you. Now then, why don't you tell us what you know about Rainer? Oh, I didn't. I didn't serve with him. Well, not really. We just crossed paths. He was leaving the 11th when I joined. Everyone said he was good, strong, and, uh, followed orders. And then, poof, Lieutenant got this order, and he wasn't happy. And I mean really quite unhappy. And then Rayner, he was gone. We never saw him again. We asked where he'd been sent, but the Lieutenant didn't want to tell us said that it was none of our business. But you, he won't be able to say no to you. You should go and offer him a drink too. Where can we find your lieutenant? At the barracks. Thank you. And watch yourself when leaving. Wouldn't want you to fall into the bay. That will be all, soldier. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Your Excellency.
Hello, officer. Excellency, can I do something for you? Could you tell me which company you serve? The Eleventh, Excellency. Anything else? What's your assignment? The Eleventh is assigned to road and outpost security for the congregation on the island. As for me, I'm responsible for the training of recruits and the patrol duty roster. Anything else? We are concerned about the death of a young recruit named Rainer. Let's be perfectly straight. We know that Rainer belonged to your company. And as the acting lieutenant instructor, you certainly had him under your command. So just stop with the lies. We've lost enough time here. You know what they say. Guard business is well guarded. And concerns only the guard. Now, unless you've lost your eyesight, you've a captain in front of you. I... I know. But this story is dangerous, Captain. If you have so much as an ounce of respect for the boy, speak to us. Don't you believe he deserves justice? Yes. Of course. But you have no idea what's been going on here. If word got round that I've been talking, come back after sundown, when there's fewer folk. Very well. We'll be back. <sighs> Anything else? Thank you, Lieutenant. That man was shaking and looking over his shoulder. As if he thought a predator had caught his scent. Whatever could terrify your warriors to jitter so? I don't know yet. But I will find out, Siora. And now to wait until nightfall. Where is my... There it is. I will help him later. Gone. No, wait, I need to sleep at night till night time, sorry. We are quite alone now. You may speak to us. Rainer was indeed a member of my company. And an excellent recruit. But you already know that. Continue. One morning, I got a note telling me he'd been transferred from my company. He'd received a new assignment. I was so furious that I did my own little investigation to see where he'd been sent. It wasn't easy. No one wanted to give me answers. No one seemed to know anything. But one thing's for certain. Rainer wasn't the only man to have disappeared. I learned that a good many recruits, all the cream of the crop, had been reassigned. And finally, I learned about the existence of a phantom regiment. What sort of nonsense are you talking about? A sort of secret elite company that were following a special training program. Where can we find them? I've no idea. I had to put my investigation to rest. Things were getting dangerous. I began to sense I was being watched. This regiment 
protects its secrets at all costs with few scruples. If you want to know more, the training officer of the Sixths might know something. It's been said that he took part in one of their missions alongside them. Are you certain you've nothing more to tell me about this infamous secret regiment? I've told you everything I know, at the risk of ending up like Rayner, Excellency. Go and see the officer of the Sixths if you want to learn more. And leave me alone now. Thank you, Lieutenant. Lieutenant. Excellency, what's your pleasure? To where are you assigned? The Sixth Company is in charge of exploration and expansion of the colony of the Congregation of Merchants on the island. We operate mainly in the wilderness areas, in direct contact with the natives. But don't worry, we respect to the letter, Congregation, directives and standing orders. We avoid all confrontation with them as much as possible. Anything else? What company do you serve? The Sixth Excellency. Anything else? Ask about the Ghost Regiment. About the Phantom Regiment. About what? Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about, Your Excellency. Persuade. Come now, Lieutenant. You do realize that the activities of this regiment are particularly suspicious. Secrets, threats, fabrications, and maybe even an assassination. This resembles more the pursuits of a criminal organization than the Honorable Coin Guard. Am I to conclude that you are involved? No. No. I assure you that isn't the case. So then tell me what you know about the regiment. I've seen the regiment. Even fought beside them on an operation. On that occasion, our marching orders were kept secret until the last minute. We were asked to remove our regiment emblems. And our pay wasn't even recorded. And of course, we were ordered to speak to no one about it under any circumstances. I hope you realize the risk I'm taking, talking to you about all this. Have no fear. We understand. What was this operation? An attack. A lightning strike on a caravan from the Bridge Alliance. Marvelous. A company that behaves like back alley bandits. I know. It really shakes up the honor code. The regiment is made up of young recruits, carefully chosen. Only the best make it through. The training is extremely arduous. And my guess is that Rainer isn't the only one who's died from it. I know that they set up camp just outside the city, where the men live and train. But I'd be at a loss to tell you precisely where it's found. Sorry, Captain. Thank you, Lieutenant. This story is making me sick. Poor Rainer. If I'd have known, I'd never have recruited him. I'm sorry, Kurt. This isn't your doing. But these filthy phantoms, or whatever they are, are gonna have to settle the debt. Believe me. You do realize that your own commander is certainly involved in this on some level. Outright clandestine operations could not have taken place without his approval. That he's aware of the existence of the regiment, there is no doubt. That he approves of what they're doing. It wouldn't be the first head that didn't know what his hands were up to. What do you wish to do now? I'm gonna find the location of this camp. I have a few friends that can certainly help us. And when I know where to smoke out these bastards, I'll go and have a few fiery words. If you were of a mind to accompany me, two of us would not be too many to make sure they settle their debts. Let me know when you discover where they are to be found. You can count on me.
Et voilà. I do have to progress in the main story to do the more. Okay. No. Yeah, their level is still pretty fucking high, but I have the power of guns. be wearing this while I'm looting. Forgot to do that.
Do they have ruby and leather? Alright. I need to restock on ammo. By that, I mean I need to clone me some goddamn ammo. time This one, this one, this one. There we go.
Ow! Stop that! No! No! You do not jump! Ha! Got it! Horn of the Forest King. And that means that you should have the key. Yes! Uh, the chest is somewhere around here. Give me just one sec. Just need to pull up a video so I can find out the location of the armor. That's a good hat. Looks like I'm gonna work on getting my endurance up again. Endurance 2, here we come. I need like what? Two more levels? Yeah, two more levels. Ooh. Attributes. Okay, this I need one more level, so when I level up, I'll go Charisma 3. How much money do I have? 43. This requires Agility 3. I will hold on to that for a bit. I need to equip that. But I'll put this away, put this away, put that away. Right, I'm going to need magic potions. I know I have them. Oh, I don't. Huh. Unless I do, and I just never... Okay, I do have a magic potions. After I get my endurance up to level 2, I will focus 
on my willpower and mental after I get my so after endurance level 2 I'll get accuracy up to level 2 then after that I'll focus on mental and willpower where am I going? I need to go here Because doing what I'm about to do is the best way to level up. Ooh. Before I forget, because I already just forgot. There we go. This part of the sorry. Here. In that case, we. Coin Arena. So basically, I'm just gonna be fighting a bunch of fucking monsters and people. Good day, and welcome to the arena. Is this your first time? It is. Excellent. The crowd just loves to see new faces. So, are you ready to rise to the challenge? Or would you like a little reminder of the rules before jumping in? Unless, of course, you're just here to go over the basics and get in some practice. First challenge. Perfect. As soon as you're ready, you can jump right in. My lords and ladies, here is a new team of fighters taking to our This is the last time I'm going to do this for a bit. Charisma, level three. I will be able to talk my way through any bullshit now. Excellent, and the public really appreciated it. Perfect. You saw them win the first challenge with audacity, and here they are. Ready to ex uh, wait. I 
I need to get her. Stop. I need to get go. So I'm just so used to having to come back just so that I can Third challenge. This is the one where I'm I'm really gonna Yeah. Almost to level 10. Fourth challenge. You this is going to be harder. You know I keep forgetting I can do this.
This Finish this. I ordered my dad's Father's Day gift. Move to cart. And he's dead. Excellent. And the public really appreciated it. Now that was a challenge well won. Leave. I need to get going. Huh. I'll give him the old serene armor.
Want armor that fits you like a glove? We'll make it for you. Oh. Sell. Crafted first, focus on mine. Sell. One arm. Actually. Oh. Bye. Let me see what you got real quick. One arm and it fits you like a glove. A we'll make it for you. Can you help me?
Okay, I can't sell it. One thirty Actually, I will do this. Let me see. So, yeah, I will put a point into here when I level up again. And then I will start working on that after I put a point in here, and then after I put a point into here, here. Okay, so they're not back yet. Where do I need to go again? I need to go to... Thalman. Thalman. Greetings. To Hikmet, please. Alright, I'm going to end this here, guys. We'll see you all next time. Peace.